think I'll pass on this one. El Not for long. Well shot! Where did you learn that? Hunting orcs. Four of them! Come on! Which of you filth dies first today? Athel, we really don't have time for this. By the light, I'm glad you're on our side. Spread out! The artifact should be here somewhere. Easy, everyone. Every dragon has a weak spot. If I can hit it just right... I think I like this dragon. Well, that could have gone better. Any ideas? We attack together. On three. For Teleria! For the Arbiter! I thought these champions may have been the ones. Yet it seems I have failed. They were not ready. Teleria is dying, consumed by war and discord. Even now, dark forces in the service of Siroth spread a foul shadow from the east. As guardian of Teleria, I have done what I can, but my power is almost spent. This task now falls to you. I have strength left to restore only one fallen champion to aid you. With their shard remade, they will be bound to your will. But you must choose. Hey guys, how are we doing? This is Mr. A2G and we are playing a new game today. Welcome to Rage Shadow Legends. How are we going? Okay guys, so this is a new game from developer Polarium. Now they've had this game out for a couple of months now, if not a little bit more. And basically, this is sort of like a, an RPG style game. So we um, elect ourselves a champion in this situation here and we're basically just going to get ourselves uh, ready, up and running, playing um, a bit of RPG goodness. So we're going to have to um, get ourselves a new champion that we're going to want to select. So we've got... Um, I'm, and I do apologize if I don't pronounce the names pro um, properly in advance, but we've got the High Elves here, um, the Elthane, level 1. Uh, we've got the Dark Elves here, Kale. And we've got the, uh, the Orcs, uh, Gallic. And finally, um, the Sacred Order, um, Athel. Now again, once more, if I've pronounced that cor incorrectly, I do apologize. But basically, we're meant to choose one of these... Um, uh, uh, heroes or legends as they call them or champions I believe it's called sorry and so far we're just looking at our um, the all the total stats that each players have and what type of skills and attributes that they have as well and you know what that sort of does and we can basically sort of proceed on from there after so I'm not too sure who I want to sort of start with to be honest with you I thought maybe our, um, our high elf here but I'm not too sure I think I might actually go ahead and try someone different like this person here so be it and we will get into the game itself so basically awaken warrior this is your bastion from here you will summon and train champions to fight the dark one and his shadow my apologies for interrupting there so basically um, so the Arbiter here will obviously guide us through and give us some information um, on how to sort of play the game, get ourselves started, things like that. And it's up to us to sort of progress on into the game. So 
I'll give you a brief rundown and what I'm looking at today to see if you guys are actually interested in this type of game uh, for myself to play. So far, from what I've seen, I find it really interesting. So um, you guys tell me and I'll keep playing it. If not, you know, we'll, we'll look to other games, but I'm sort of trying a few things out anyway. So um, let's just click you next. You've chosen your first champion, but one champion is not an army. Use a mystery shard to summon another champion at the portal. Okay, so we're going to jump into the portal over here. And Mystery shards allow you to summon common, uncommon, and rare champions. Okay, so basically we've got a few levels that we can pick from in terms of the type of shards that we're going to be coming into contact with. At the moment we've only got the, the green one, which is our lower end of the scale. And then we've got our ancient, void, and sacred, which obviously explains themselves. So we're going to go ahead and summon a new warrior for us to come on in our adventures. Excellent. You've summoned an attack type champion with great attack and support skills. Let's head to the campaign map and prepare your champions for their first taste of combat. Sounds good. Let's get into it. Let's get out of here. And then we'll jump into battle. Behold, Karak Castle, seat of King Tabor. This is where your journey begins. I fear that the king and his banner lords have fallen to the shadow. Once noble and just, he has brought war upon his allies and ruin on his people. You and your champions must fight through his banner lords, find him, and see if he has turned to Siroth. Okay, so this is basically the campaign page here. Fortunately, it's not going to let me move around. I'm just trying on my screen here, so we're going to have to get into it. Chapter one, let's start. I don't mind this um, sort of uh, cutscenes, bit of lore and all that sort of stuff, so yeah. Eleven enjoy it. generations of peace had reigned between the kingdom of Karak and the realm of Arabia. A peace now shattered by King Taba's brutal campaign of expansion into the neutral lands between the two kingdoms. Once revered as a pillar of justice, King Taba had imposed crushing taxes to finance his war with his former ally, bringing desolation and ruin upon his own people. Had the king lost all reason? On the orders of the Arbiter, the company set out to persuade him to renounce his folly and wayward policies. Even if it meant storming the very gates of Kirok Castle. Karok will not fall easily. Like all places in Teleria, there are multiple stages of defenders. You must defeat all stages to move forward with your journey. Okay, so let's get into this our first battle. This is where you select your team and review the enemy champions before each battle. Each champion has unique skills and an affinity that makes them weak or strong against another affinity. Okay, so what she means by that there, guys, if you haven't seen this or played this game before, if you have a look, little triangle axis here, you've got the blue f flame, green lightning bolt, and the red skull. Think of it as your rock, paper, scissors format. So we know that blue is going to be green, green's going to be red, and red's going to be blue. The um, purple triangle in the middle is your neutral. So basically you're not going to be um, uh, at an elemental disadvantage if you use purple and you're up against other the other elements there. So just keep that in mind when you're progressing throughout the game, guys. Magic beats spirit, spirit beats force, force beats magic, and void is special. Void champions have no direct weaknesses against other affinities. And I couldn't have said that better myself, but there you go. You have only two champions. Let us pick your team. Well done. Notice that your leader has an aura skill. These provide special bonuses to all allied champions in a battle. Yeah, so very important guys, you want to make sure that the leader that you use has some sort of aura ability. And this comes down to when you guys start to form yourself a, um, a battle style, a gameplay style, for, so how you guys want to play. It comes down to you guys, so certain champions will have that, so that's something to sort of keep in mind. Alright, so let's go ahead and start. The arrows above each enemy's head show how your champion's affinity matches up against theirs. An affinity advantage means a more effective attack, more damage, and a higher chance to crit. Yeah, apologies about that. I was stuck on auto for some reason, so 
I've just turned off auto, we're gonna go manual on this. You can auto and you can increase the speed time as well. Um, you probably wanna do that if you guys are just wanna sort of grind and you don't wanna um, sort of do that on your own kind of thing. Um, that'd be my suggestion for you guys. But you guys play how you guys wanna play, I guess, at the end of the day. So just do, do what you guys wanna do. Just take out this guy here. There we go. So round three of three, as you can see, the top right hand corner. Now, so far from what I've seen in this game, you probably want to just use your standard attacks when you're getting through rounds one and two early in game, and then in the third round, you probably just want to use out your your higher uh, strength attacks. And some of these actually have attributes where you can attack multiple enemies at one time from one um, champion that you've got there, which I find that's really useful. So depending on how you guys want to set yourselves up, you guys want to do it in any way that works for you guys. For me, that sort of worked. Um, and that probably would work for, you know, early in-game as well at the same time. So you guys want to probably use some of that as you're sort of progressing along until the uh, the, the matches matchups get a lot harder and then you sort of got to rethink on how you sort of want to... Um, Excellent. Oops. Campaign levels drop artifacts and here's your first. Artifacts are powerful items that boost your champion's stats. Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, so play how you guys want to play, but as the uh, the levels get harder, more difficult, your strategy will have to change. And then by then, you, your champions would obviously be higher level. You'll sort of start working out how you guys want to sort of progress in the game and what sort of areas that you want to explore. And um, uh, sorry, and sort of, you know, get more specialized in. That would be my suggestion. So now we're getting, um, you know, items and weaponry and things like that so we're going to go next anyway we'll get out of that along with special items your champions will earn xp after every battle earn enough and they'll level up growing in strength and power and that's just a natural progression of things as well uh, go we... to your champion collection and equip that artifact so basically they're just going to make us go ahead and equip things as well this is where you can view all champions under your control okay each so, champion can equip up to six artifacts. Select the artifact and equip your champion. And basically we're just going to go ahead and just equip that. See that? Your artifact has already strengthened this champion. Better yet, artifacts can be equipped in sets to provide special bonuses and effects. There you go. So you've got to look out for the same type of armor. You might be able to mix armor as well and I'll get into that as well. I believe you are ready. Return to Karok Castle, seat of King Tabor of Karok. Fight through his banner lords and find him. I must know if he has succumbed to the shadow. So yeah, we're going to get roped into battle again. And we're going to go the second round. Already got our guys pre-populated, so I believe once you've done it for the first time in the first stage, it should automatically populate. You can swap them out as well in between, so you don't have to go with the same lot again. Uh, just depending on how you guys want to run. Alright, so let's take this one here. And let's just take down you. to round two. So as you notice the little green there that's you're going to be more effective against that enemy so you want to try and go ahead and attack those first so at least that way you can get through those enemies a lot quicker. Okay. Now I don't know everything about this game or, uh, so I'm still learning as well so <coughs> I am looking towards um, you know, other people that have actually been playing this game for a little while now and just trying to seek um, you know, any sort of benefit that I can pass on to you guys as well. So hopefully that helps you guys and just get my knowledge of things up to the same time. So if I don't know anything, you know, uh, please don't hate me on that. <laughs> I'm, I'm still learning. So if you guys have any tips or tricks, or any suggestions that you guys want to give me. You leveled up. Every time you level up, you'll get full energy, gems, and sometimes you'll even unlock new features. 
Yep. So yeah, anyway, so if you guys have any tips or tricks, please let me know in the comments. That'd be really much appreciated. And not only for me, but for any other newcomers that might be interested in this game as well. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying this so far, but let me know down in the comments. And here are your rewards from battle. With this artifact, you'll have enough to equip a full set. Let's go. So we're going to go back and equip some items. Artifacts can be equipped individually, but come in sets of two or four. Equipping full sets can give you huge stat boosts, special abilities, or add special modifiers to your attacks. Special icons will show which artifact sets a champion is equipped with. Tap on the set icon to read more about which this set boosts your champion's HP by 15%. Life artifacts come in sets of two, meaning you can gain a huge 45% HP boost with three sets. Let's upgrade this artifact and improve its bonuses. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and upgrade. So every time that you upgrade, the, the coinage would increase as well, naturally, so. Excellent work. When you upgrade artifacts to certain levels, they gain new substats, giving your champions an even bigger boost. So it's a very heavily involved game as well. So it's not just a standard, you know, run and slash and, you know, and get out and do it again kind of thing. There are a lot of elements to the game that we sort of got to learn and sort of adapt to. So. That's why I'm sort of interested in this game, to sort of learn more about it, so yeah. Okay, let's get out of that. And out of that. You have learned well. Keep strengthening your warriors. I shall return in time to teach you more. Okay, so that's pretty much their tutorial. And this is kind of cool as well. New player rewards and things like that. You play for seven days in a row, you actually be able to get to redeem all these things. And then on day seven, you get yourself a new champion. As you can see there, that's a four star as well. So really, really keen on getting that myself. All right. And of course you get all these pop-ups that will come from time to time. It is what it is with the game. So you just sort of got to bear with it guys. Otherwise, you've got a whole lot of um, you know, uh, side menus as well, so you've got the daily logins. Make sure that you guys get in on that as well, because as you can see, you do get some pretty decent loot. Um, and if we click on that there, it just gives you the campaign info and all that sort of stuff. Uh, quests. So again, certain things that you do in the game without you knowing sometimes, which would probably be myself that you would just sort of earn things as well. So the best I identify is these little red dots that you might find um, on these little pins there. And then you should be able to jump in, navigate and find, um, uh, you know, what reward that you can claim. And then you basically, um, basically jump through and uh, take sort of advantage of it. Otherwise, there's some level uh, areas that are locked. Um, so you won't be able to get into them at the moment. You've got the mine here, but takes a bit of gem, um, a certain amount of gems for you to, you know, for you to get it going. But basically you'd be able to get some gems out of this as well, which a lot of people have been saying it's a w worthwhile investment if you can um, get yourself enough gems, invest in it as soon as you can. And then, you know, um, obviously that's going to return you uh, gems uh, just by, you know, playing the game and waiting, waiting it out in the, in its production cycle. As far as I'm aware, the tavern here, basically you can go in and upgrade your, your champions that you do currently have, and you can fuse other champions to make it make your champion stronger. There are other certain attributes that I can't show you at the moment that you can use, and other bits and pieces, there's um, other skill abilities and things like that. So it's not just so much upgrading the champion, but there's other attributes that you can use to upgrade your champion. And then the sparring pit is, I believe, where once you've unlocked it at level 15, you should be able to um, train up other warriors, champions, I, sh I should say, and that basically um, allows you to train them and you're training your own uh, main squad as well. So, I mean, this game would more or less, um, you know, uh, encourage you to have multiple squads, especially on the elemental front as well at the same time. So it's just something to sort of keep in mind for, you know, in future. For now, for early game players, it's just about playing the game, discovering it, learning it, and which is what I sort of wanted to get myself involved in. So 
With that being said, we're going to leave it here for today. Appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you guys have any tips and tricks, let me know. If you guys do like this type of game, you want me to play more of it, please let me know in the comment. Hit the like button so I know that you guys do enjoy this style of game and you guys want me to see more, um, see me more play of it. Uh, but more importantly, if you guys are new, um, hit the subscribe button, notification bell, all that sort of good stuff so you don't miss out on any future videos, especially when it comes to Raid or possibly any other games that I'm playing. Alright guys, take it easy and I'm going to catch you next time.